time to be searching around, so we may, may as well take it, but just be really careful during the night. Hmm. Well, if there's nothing there, we might as well not take it, too. Yeah, we had no problem just sleeping on the side of the road like I guess we have been doing the past three days, so... Oh, well, yeah, could do. Yeah, you were sleeping on the side of the road the past few days, so it wasn't, uh... Nothing special had happened those few days. Yeah, this it just seems a bit too much of a setup. Okay, so what do yeah, you yeah, well, yeah. What's the disadvantage really of setting our own camp up? Yeah, well, we'll move on and then just set up wherever we have to. When it gets too what dark. would be uh, east of where we are right now? Uh, east of where you are is a river that heads down towards the Holman Falls, and then east of that is Watchman's Tower north. It's very possible these are people just heading off into different directions. So, again, I don't think there's any real advantage to hanging out over there. I, I'd rather just sleep on the side of the road, keep what we're doing. Fair enough. Okay, I so agree. you guys just get set up on the side of the road then? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, what's your sleep order? Mm, I have low light, so I could take one of the darker shifts. Yeah, well, let's split up the elves. So, um, I guess. Like I say, like John and me. That's right. And... Segregate the elves. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Get those fucking elves say, away. I mean, from I mean, the... we've, lost, we've lost Eli, but gained the fucking ghost who walks. <laughs> uh, since Drew's not here, let's do let's do uh, John and myself and Denora and Caitlin. Okay. New girl, girl okay. lost. <clears throat> um, the night goes by uneventfully, but Caitlin, uh, you know, I'm sorry, Kathleen. You noticed uh, during the middle of the night that there was some activity at the uh, at the campgrounds that you had been keeping an eye on because of, you know it seems a little strange. Uh, you noticed that some humanoids uh, or at least something that seemed to resemble humans or thereof were rustling through the campgrounds, looking around, and they sort of seemed to look around for a bit. Then they then they left. Uh, seemed quite odd to you. And then that's pretty much all that happened that night. And you guys wake up refreshed in the morning. Um, we got, well, yeah, I'm going to wake them up and let them know that I spotted someone over there, and then I'm going to, uh, try to stealth over there and see if, uh, I can Okay, you're going to wake them up during your shift? Yeah, I'm just going to tell them that someone was over there. Okay. And that I'm over there, and if I don't come back within, like, you know, a minute, a few minutes, then, uh, they might want to go check it out as well. <laughs> I don't come back in five minutes, just wait longer. <laughs> Okay. Right. Um, so you're gonna go stealth up there and see what's uh, what's going on. See if I can't find out what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Um, you stealth forward towards. Uh, I'm still gonna use your other role, and you have cover of darkness anyway. So yeah, uh, yeah. you creep forward uh, towards the towards the camp where you see the people rustling around in there. And as you approach, you hear them sort of talking to themselves almost nervously. Um, one of them, uh, one of them says to another one, "Why didn't that work? Why didn't they stay here? They were supposed to stay here." And another one says, to them, "I don't know. It's supposed to work like that. We could have had easy gold." And they sort of go and have a back and forth, um, almost panicky, almost jittery. But they seem to be, uh, they seem to be digging in the dirt and uh, putting pieces of metal in their pockets uh, that, that seem to be either attached to str- uh, string or what. You can't really tell from here. And uh, after they're done, they sort of scurry off as fast as possible. Uh, I'm going to do the same back to the group. <clears throat> okay. And I'm going to tell them it seems that we made a good decision not sleeping at that camp because I believe someone would have tried to rob us. Hmm. Hmm. Well, back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> not chasing after bandits for no reason. <laughs> the rest of the night passes uneventfully. And you wake <laughs> up refreshed bandits. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. The first game Chris is back, he he causes the party to not derp. <laughs> to be honest, I would have stayed there either. Nobody would. <laughs> I'd just go, oh look, a convenient place yeah. to stay. <clears throat> my, my, D&D my. D&D tells me, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh look, a nice clearing in the forest where we can see, be seen easily from all sides and where people have been. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's continue on our way then. <laughs> now that that's over... <laughs> <laughs> um, your travels along the road to Collin Grove are uneventful up until the final two days of travel when you start seeing people uh, who are camped out outside uh, outside of the trail to Collin Grove. These people look just utterly haggard. They they look they look homeless. They look dirty. 
they look like they've seen a lot. Uh, none of them speak to you, and they're all very quiet, just sort of sitting on the side of the road or, or walking uh, or walking towards Collin Grove or in the direction of Collin Grove. Um, they all they all seem really just ragged and, and worn out. Some of them wear armor. Um, others just carry it on their back. Others have almost nothing. Uh, you see people with some terrible, terrible injuries, a man who's lost an arm. Uh, you see another man on the side of the road who's just just seems to be dead with a woman grieving over her, over him. Uh, it seems to be a, a pretty rough sight. Uh, it's a rough sight to bear. Um, and uh, it just it just continues on for the next couple of days as you arrive at the gates of Collin Grove. Oof. That's, uh, that's a rough image. Hmm. I'm going to assume that a lot of these people are refugees. Uh, would... And I'm just going to ask if Drew would be able to maybe talk with some of these people to get a general perception of what's going on, since he's very good at streetwise. And I assume he told us that during our travels, so I know in character. He totally did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Drew talks all the time about how great he is at gathering. Hey, uh, yeah, I'll get um, you streetwise. I don't have his level three sheet. Damn it. Uh, I, yeah. I, I don't. But can I edit his macro? He has. All right. This is his streetwise. Yeah. Go ahead. Twelve, not very good. <laughs> uh, Drew uh, sort of talk, tries to attempts to talk to people, but uh, most of them are very sullen, very quiet. Uh, one man even, one man even looks at him confused and says, "Weren't you there? Why are you asking me this?" And he just keeps he just keeps walking uh, forward. Uh, it, it's really not uh, nobody's really in the mood to chat with him. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, I can um, assume a lot of these people are refugees, and uh, it seems... Is it Collinswood or Collins Grove? Collin Grove. Okay, because my cousin lives in Collinswood, so I'm going to fuck that up a lot. It's all right. <laughs> uh, it seems Collins Grove probably isn't taking refugees, so I assume they're going to be very well aware of what's happening to the South. Uh, well, uh, your arrival at the gates, most of the people are being let in. Oh. Uh, they just seem to be they seem to be showing them either some sort of paper or or whatnot uh, at the gate but they're most of them being let in uh, you you suspect that these maybe were they were sent there on more official business than uh than just uh being refugees from somewhere else hmm. okay ambush someone with papers <laughs> wait what no don't do that don't do that <laughs> <laughs> all right oh god is there, uh, I guess there, um... <laughs> Sorry, Dark called you an image already. <laughs> what the fuck? It's Colleen's Grove Away, and it's just the Batman symbol with John's dirt face. <laughs> so it's just... <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, okay, um, well, well, I guess the thing we're gonna have to do is go up to the, uh, the garden. Ask if we can be allowed into the city, or if there's uh, what's going on, basically. <clears throat> um, as you approach the guard, he goes, "Halt! I need to see your papers." Uh, we don't what? need no stinking papers. I mean, he uh... draws his sword. <laughs> <laughs> I got papers. <laughs> I'm gonna draws... hold up my hands, like not threatening. But w what papers are you looking for? We're from Wormwick. Ah, uh, from Wormwick, eh? Uh, unfortunately, uh, we need to, uh, unfortunately, we're just accepting the wounded, uh, and the, and the killed, and the veterans, if you were, of the latest battle at the refugee, at the resistance camp. Uh, unfortunately, our forces were depleted quite heavily. Uh, we can't afford to have travelers here at the moment. We are not travelers, we were part of that. I was one to witness that firsthand. Wormwick sent you to the resistance camp. Yes. <laughs> I doubt it. Love me, you gonna, will. Can I give him a glare and step backwards? Because. Yeah. So, what do you do here? What business have you here? Oh, hang on a second. Does anyone else want to take this or the person with no diplomacy? <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, hang on. Okay. Um, I'll give you guys. Uh, do you guys want a little history on Colin? Hey, and you I, sort of I, went in here empty-handed. I got. I, yeah. I got. I got to figure out how to do this. Um, okay. Well, let me just give you a little bit of history of Colin Grove. It's ruled by Duke Ned the Dwarf, and he's the guy who vehemently, vehemently supports the Resistance camp. 
uh, in fact, uh, going so far as to being the majority uh, supplier of men and arms for the camp. Uh, he feels that uh, he feels that the Demon Baron's threat is far greater than what Wormwick feels it is. And they've had quite their... Um, Colin Grove and Wormwick have had their political um, differences over the years. Mm. Okay, so what I'm grasping from that is he's really in favor of the military, he just thinks none of us are good enough to actually be part of it. I think it's more that he doesn't think Wormwick could send any help. I yeah. think... I think we we might be able to work this renegade angle. Maybe not tell him that we're. No, no, don't tell him. Like we did this. No, shit. no, don't tell him we've you been in town. Say we 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 came against women's wishes to help out or something like. That. No, I'm writing up. I'm trying to compose okay. something here. It's yeah. Uh... I just he's, like, sure he's writing a note perfect. that says admission papers. Admission. <laughs> 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 my <laughs> mom. <laughs> Please let us in. Let, the, X, let X, them X, in. X. Signed, Khan Muzarababag. Ed, it's spelled Ned wrong. The D's backwards. <laughs> what the hell? Was everyone, why, why is everyone making fun of Duke Ned? I like Duke Ned. I don't know. No, I'm going to say chat room is jumping in. Same with that. <laughs> Chat room jumped all over the name Ned. Like what? Dude, Ned. Sorry, he doesn't have a mystical name like Crusader Five Fire. That does sound wacky. Wait till you meet Crusader Bob. Crusader Bob. All right, you said you're getting something ready. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> hey there, guys. Oh, Hello. Hey, assist. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Dinner was good. Can barely hear sketch. <laughs> yeah, I can't oh, sorry. hear you. I'm just need to talk louder. Or can okay. you still not hear me? No, nah, barely. Yeah, you're very low. I'll just quit Skype and breathe large because my mic levels are fine. So. Okay. <clears throat> Highly ho, right. neighborino. All right, here's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> um, Dother steps forward, and I'm going to say, Excuse me, sir. Do you doubt our metal? Do you doubt our word? I shall have you know that when the demons set upon our armies, we stood strongly with the brave rabble gathered by Khan Muzarog and struck down many demons. A dragon physically assaulted me, and yet you look upon us and doubt our right to be here? We are here on the word of Khan Muzarog himself to speak with your leaders, and you shall let us in! Huh. Muzarog, you say, huh? I suppose then you'll have a status update for the Duke, because he's quite curious as to what the hell happened at the, at the camp. <sighs> Alright, I'll let you in, but uh, you'll have to be escorted to the Duke before you can travel anywhere within the Grove. You understand, of course. Of course. Alright, he, he, uh, he just sort of he nods at the, uh, at the gate guard and, they, and uh, the gate opens. Uh, a couple of guards step out and um, they escort you in. Uh, inside the grove, to the Duke's keep, uh, where he is sitting on his throne. He's quite, <clears throat> he's quite full of himself, if you will. Uh, quite proud of the of the city he's built and the mini castle he's built for his keep. Um, it's quite an interesting sight seeing a seeing a dwarf uh, sitting in a full sized sitting sitting in a full sized chair with his feet unable to reach the ground. But um, he sits there and he and he welcomes you. He's welcome, welcome. Uh, I hear word that you were from Uzarog, and you give me, and you were here to give me word on the situation at the camp. I can see from the men coming back that it is a grim one. Very. Grim. We are some of the last ones to have left that camp. There are probably less than ten left, if any. Hey, and what happened when when the camp was the camp was made active, and short time after that it was just wiped out? I, what 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 happened? The armies the came, and work. they were unlike anything of this world. <sighs> the... This is not a good day for the Grove. We have lost many men there. We were the ones who supplied many of the men, who many of the men in the arms, who uh, who would fight, who would fight these demons. Uh, you say you're from Wormwick, and I must admit, I am uh, I am ill at ease having you here. Uh, what is the situation in Wormwick? Do you know? Ugh. When we left, when we left there, uh, it seemed that political corruption ha was running rampant. But we have not been there now for 
It's been over a month, right? Yeah. It's been over a month. Mm. Fair enough. <laughs>